we are, uh, let's see, we got the horse last time. Something that's, that I did do, so there's this block. And I think at one point I looked at it, it was like in the quest book or something. It's called Brownstone. And uh, it makes you walk faster. And unfortunately it is a little expensive. Like, um, so this 16 slabs was originally eight blocks that cost um, an ingot of 10. Now that, it's not a huge amount, but to go to the new location that I think we were looking at last stream, would be a good number of blocks. Oh, I was inside my own head. Um, all right, so let's go over there really quick and check out what's going on. So I did start cutting a path through here to make it a little easier to get back and forth to the uh, the new location. So the new location is what's gonna be where we're going to be working on uh, steam stuff. Uh, as I recall, as I recall, um, last time around we got that, the um, water barrel thing going. Uh, I've added some stairs just to make it easier to, to go up and around. Uh, and that, that's pretty much what the focus was uh, kind of on my, uh, while I was watching other people's streams, working on this, uh, was just making it easier to move around and doing some stuff with storage drawers and uh, some organizing basically, not any kind of progression stuff. So save that for the stream. So the main thing I did do was I did clear out um, blocks above this so that we're no longer getting the half rate for producing water. So you can see here we have 215,000 liters and still climbing uh, of water. If a bucket is a liter, I guess that that's what the game is telling us. And uh, so we have our small coal boiler here. And I think the next thing we need to do is make some steam pipes to, uh, you have game sound good, all right. Um, make some steam pipes to supply to the alloy smelter and do some of that stuff. One of the, one of the things though I realized just like yesterday, um, as I was going through quests and kind of thinking about how the stream was gonna go, was that we, we went over there to the Witch's Circle, uh, over uh, here. Maybe that was last stream? I think that was last stream, uh, at the beginning of it, maybe not. But uh, whenever it was, we went over there and we got a dispenser that was buried in the ground to, um, to work on a windmill, that's what it was. And apparently you can use the windmill. Oh, we slept really well. What did we, what did we get for sleeping really well? Speed three. All right, that'd be kind of annoying actually. I'm trying to move, maneuver around. So there's a quest. <laughs> there's a quest to uh, around and around she goes. Always have something to grind. You can use a hopper to keep the windmill full of items to process. Just to remember to retrieve them from the dispensers. So there's a primitive rotor that we can make. And I think we started looking at, hey, Jake, welcome in. I see you there. Um, we can make this primitive rotor that should allow us to grind our resources, right? So we have nothing here, but over on the other base, we have kind of a lot of raw ores that we mined up. And I think grinding them will make it, we'll, we'll get more out of it than just like smelting it directly. And that seems like something we should do. I'm starting to see already that there's going to be a lot of need to get um, more metal, right? And so trying to make the best of what we what we have is gonna be good. Um, the other thing that happened after last stream, so I did finish getting all the way up to the, the top of the tree and I ended up actually just making stairs all the way around. Uh, surprisingly, stairs in this pack are just the normal Minecraft recipe with planks, so it doesn't require any special tools or anything. I did make some more uh, drawers here for cobble and dirt and stuff. This was basically what was at the other base I just moved over. Uh, I made a little bit more, so yeah. What to do though? So I think I, I, I bookmarked a bunch of things. Um, one of the things I realize, and I, I mentioned this before, so we have, uh, last stream, we have the lunch box, or the lunch bag. The lunch bag lets us put three items, three different food items in. Now, 
in this in this pack, it's set up so that you really need to have six different food items that you cycle through, so that you don't get tired of eating things and you can just like eat all of those things. But we can only store three in a lunch bag. And I had thought that it was a quest reward. There's not. There's actually a quest to make the lunch box, which is the thing that can hold six different kinds of food. Um, and it needs iron uh, and iron and a screwdriver. And so this is something we could just make, right? If we have the iron for that. So let's see, how much iron do we have in here? We have, is that 10 iron? Is that iron? Yeah, 10 iron. So how much iron do we need to make the lunchbox? So the double plates, that's four iron each. So that's four, 12. And I think this iron screws end up being like one iron right now with the technology level we have. So that's uh, 14 iron to make a lunchbox. So 14 for that. Now the combined primitive rotor is something I, I think we really should do right now. We should get the windmill so that we can start um, grinding up things. I say that there is another option. Uh, there is a steam macerator. Now the steam macerator requires some stuff, but we are about to make steam. So maybe we can just make this and skip the step of making the, uh, the windmill, right? Because the macerator macerates, it like crushes uh, ores, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. So uh, we need two diamonds. We need some bronze fluid pipes. Now I think we also need these pipes for uh, steam as well. So we can look into making a bunch of those and a bronze hull. We made one, of, one or two of those already for the stuff that's, that's over here in the corner of the screen. And we need some pistons. Now the pistons are complicated, um, but let's, maybe we should go get some diamonds. I've never really done a lot of mining on stream, which is funny for a game of Minecraft, not doing any mining. Um, but let's see, I did some exploration and I think one of the veins I found at one point was diamonds. Where was that? Mineral, sands, iron, salts, coal. Was it over here somewhere? There was a diamond vein. Redstone, copper, mica, manganese, salts, iron. Anyone seeing it? I think it was, it literally was a diamond vein. But I'm not seeing it right now, which is unfortunate. Stone, gold, iron, mineral, sands, coal, coal, kaolinite, soapstone. I mean, I could just be misremembering. That's also possible. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> so this has graphite, diamond, and coal. So uh, that's Kitty Corner, our farm that we set up. Just two chunks over. So let's go back over there. Um, are we going to be able to mine it? I don't know. One of the things we can do is um, take a look at the quest book. The quest book has lots of helpful hints. So what we were talking about doing was making um, stuff in the Steam Age. So tier, one half of a tier. Uh, oh, I have view mode on. Just ignore that. <laughs> when you turn that on in the creative world, it, you know, it, it persists and it's not cheating. It's just, it's kind of nice to not see all the different quests to, uh, you know, keep focused on what we're doing. Um, right, so I think what this wants us to do is make the red alloy. Turk's still here. Uh, and then the wire mill, I think there's some stuff over here. Let's go, let's go just check out the, uh, the diamond vein. I'm not 100% sure whether we'll be able to mine it right now, but we can try and we can see if we can get some diamonds. Uh, I don't know.
Unfortunately, with the horse, it doesn't take that long to get around. And then we're really fast when we walk over that stuff. Kind of too fast, honestly. Uh, we can also check in on our experiment. Um, so last stream we were messing around with the uh, the IC2 crop sticks and how they behaved. I, uh, I did break one here. That's why this is overgrown. But here's the one where we had a weed. And we can see it seemed to have destroyed this crop. And it kind of spread to the empty farmland. But it hasn't destroyed this crop. So I'm not, I'm not completely sure what happened with this one, or maybe it's just a really low probability of it spreading to other crops or, or what, but it, it really seems like uh, if we weren't trying to necessarily get seeds like that, but we were just like using the, the crop sticks to, to grow things, that it, it could be pretty hands off. But uh, we'll come back to that later. One of the things we do need to do that I thought was going to be really hard was make the plant lens so that we can look at those unknown seeds and figure out what they are. Uh, it turns out we had a bunch of glass. I only realized after I was like trying to figure out how to make glass, which we did eventually figure out how to do, but I think I get some glass, uh, glass as a quest reward at some point. Uh, and making the lens is not that hard, but it does need a diamond. So here's something else where we need a diamond, really to uh to progress but for now let's go see if we can get a diamond i i have a suspicion that the pickaxe won't be able to uh to cut it um all right so we're going over here there should be a hole in the ground oh i covered it over why did i do that I think I might need to get some torches. Why did I cover it over? That's kind of weird. I didn't get very far, did I? Huh. Okay, well, we got a little bit of time. The game seems kind of quiet. Hold on. Oh, well, not that quiet. I can hear it. Uh, okay, that seems good. Okay, so I think I need to go back and get uh, some torches. And maybe we can repair the pickaxe too. It's almost nighttime as well, we'll want to sleep. still have some wool so we can grab some of this creosote and use to make torches so we're not uh, using uh, charcoal to make them uh, yeah we'll do it that way so do I have wool in here anymore I do have a little bit okay so I think it's like this. Yeah. And we get five torches from one bucket of uh, creosote. Grab another. Uh, so is 10 enough? Do I even have wood to make more here? Or sticks. Mm -hmm. What about over here? Bark. Burn it for charcoal. Yeah, let's do that. Of course, the problem here is that this is so full of creosote that uh, we're not going to be able to make much charcoal, but it's something. And uh, eventually we'll make a tank so we can drain all the, the creosote out. So we can just keep that going all the time. Uh, but in the meantime, borrow some of 
this. Let's make a few more torches. Um, do I have bronze over here? I should have some over here in the uh, in the tank. Molten bronze. Just need one to repair the pick. Looks like there was maybe some tin down here. All right, save that for later. So this says that the mining tool level is redstone. Now, I suspect... Well, we'll see. Let's, let's keep let's keep mining and see if we can get some, some diamonds. I, I'm kind of worried that um, we are not going to be able to. I hear some, <laughs> some raw onions to throw in our lunch bag. going. Hmm. Alright, where was this? Uh, was it over here? Yeah. Alright, and down we go. What's this? Graphite ore? Interesting. Not really something I need right now. Oh, hey! Uh, how do I say your name? <laughs> Guerato? How goes the game? Said. Pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, trying to get my first diamonds in this... Uh, <laughs> this mod pack. I am... I don't even know, probably like 65, 70 hours into this playthrough. And I've yet to get a diamond. But I haven't really needed it either with uh, the Tinker's tools and stuff. But we are now at a point where it's kind of a, a needful thing. How's your Monday been going? Oops, I didn't mean to. There we go. Keep some cobblestone on my hot bar. How's your Monday been going? Good, I hope. Now, how far, you know, in vanilla, it's been good, just finishing up stuff at work. Uh, thanks for asking, you're welcome. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? So in vanilla, you know, you go down to like Y12 to look for diamonds, right? Uh, in this pack, uh, it's not quite so straightforward. Let's go look at the, uh, do we have a, so there's the ore processing thing. There's diamond ore, okay. Diamond ore, then we should be able to look at the uh, vein stats. Okay, so there's a diamond vein. That's what we're in right now is a diamond vein. Uh, and it says between diamond ore. So primary is graphite, secondary is graphite, between is diamond ore. Height, five to 20. So we need to be like below Y level 20 to really have a good chance. And we're currently at uh, 41. So we got a little ways to go. So you can imagine when I was going around kind of surveying all of these veins, I was doing this over and over and over and over again. Uh, and you know, the one time is fun. <laughs> you know, 40 times is not quite as much fun, but at least now we know that there's a diamond vein here, right? Once we found the first ore, that's basically what I did. I, I didn't have to go all the way to bedrock or uh, whatever. Like as soon as you find the first official ore of the vein, the game is like, oh, that's a, you know, 
um, an iron vein or a diamond vein or what have you. All right, 24. So some point here soon, we should find something, probably graphite. Uh, small redstone ore, okay. That's also an option, apparently. Um, we are... Oh, this is not the center of the chunk. Oh, then I, then I placed the, the, the thing at the top in the wrong place then. Generally on these, I like to go f at the center of the chunk, because you're really likely, it seems, to run into uh, stuff there. So, I guess I was a little off. What are we at? We're at 17, 16. I mean, eventually we'll have bedrock and then maybe we can scout around. What's this? Graphite ore? Okay. Uh, that's also graphite ore. That's also graphite ore. There we go, get one of those. But we're looking for diamond ore. There's coal ore, okay. Ah, diamond ore. So the good news, is that the harvest level is redstone. So we, we can get, uh, it went into our miner's backpack, but we can get a diamond ore. There we go. Which the game helpfully informs us is just some carbon. Just a, just an interesting arrangement of carbon, really. Nothing really special. <laughs> Actually rather special. Um, but we'll just keep on going down, and uh, maybe we can find one or two more. Just while we're down here, time is it. Okay, we'll probably dig out a space to sleep down here. Since we have the uh, sleeping bag now. I think in this pack, the, uh, the ground bedrock is just completely flat. think so. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So where did we find that diamond? Around about um, here? Stick around. Hey, look! <laughs> There's another one. Now, the question is, how do we take the diamond ore and actually get diamond from it, right? So, to look at that... If I hit U on this, okay, so we can we can just put it in a furnace and get the diamond out. We'll get one. Um, so there's this tab called Great Tech Ore Processing, and this gives you a preview of like machinery that we can build to make a bunch of uh, processing steps. So we can get diamond dust and other things out of diamond ore. additional recipe output. So it looks like if you do this whole thing, you get 1.45 diamonds <laughs> out of that. There's some other things, Sagmill uh, Macerator. We might be able to get some crushed diamond ore. Um, but in the, in the short term, probably just put it in the furnace and get one. There's a forge hammer, steam forge hammer. Um, why would you do this then? Curious. I don't know. Uh, but it is night, so let's sleep before stuff just spawns. I think we might actually be far, far enough away from the surface that it's not going to be a big deal. Stuff's not going to spawn on the surface, so whatever. Uh, we got some diamonds. Let's get out of here. Someday, someday. <laughs> We are uh, gonna have like teleportation, and all sorts of magic things, and um, rockets, and um, quarries, and uh, you know, all sorts of things, all sorts of automated things, technology things, uh, and we won't have to do this sort of like digging around underground sort of thing. But uh, it, it's gonna be a while, you know. Just a few hundred hours. What 
what I've heard, you know, so the, the end game of this pack, like the thing at the very end, uh, at present anyway, is like the Stargate. And I've heard estimates of like, you know, if you know what you're doing, maybe like 5,000 hours to get there. Now, is that gonna happen? I don't know. But uh, you can dream, right? <laughs> But for now, a diamond. So what do we need the diamond for? So we needed it for the uh, the lens to look at the seeds. That'll be useful uh, because there should should be some good seeds in there for things, for more wood production, among other things. Uh, hmm? What else? So we wanted to make. Um, okay, we'll need to come back to this. We're going to go back to the other place and work on um, making red alloy. Because that needs uh, our, whatchamacallit, steam alloy smelter to be operational, which needs the uh, pipes. It says, do them one by one until you understand how fast you use steam. It takes a lot of steam. So we're, we're gonna do that. That's gonna happen today because we need to make progress here. Um, what else? So there are item pipes in this fairly early with the, uh, the 10 item pipes. We do need 10 plates, so we need more 10. Uh, oh, right. So things that we need to do this stream. One is uh, this right here, making the uh, uh, red alloy and making progress here. Second, we must make a lever so that I can automate the uh, the foundry, the smeltery, to uh, you know output uh, metal ingots. Um, there's also a bunch of stuff here I did at some point. I never claimed the results, so um, so that, that's going to give us a rolling pin and some other cooking stuff. I'll, I'll probably come back to that later. There's other things here. Oh, look, a boat. <laughs> uh, oh, we can do this now. It just needs a knife, huh? Okay, we can make a boat. But I uh, don't need that right now, so come back to it. Uh, Multi-block goals. Um, I didn't need to claim the firework rocket, so I left that there. Uh, steam power. Railcraft tanks, automation tier one, what's that? Do you wanna automate your smeltery because you're planning to make stack and stacks of uh, glass blocks? No problem. Craft a large bronze pipe and place it under the faucet. Make sure to connect the pipe to the faucet using a wrench. Interesting. Now the molten fluid will flow inside the pipe. Under or next to the pipe, you can have to place the casting basin or tape. Oh. So you can do that with a pipe. So maybe we don't need a lever for that then. We can just pipe it directly into the casting table. Uh -huh, a hopper and a chest underneath, which we've already done. Okay. And we get some clear glass and a loot bag. Faucets will output precisely 144 each activation if you toggle it off immediately. Huh, interesting. Okay, so we might do that. Um, the thing is just still, like even at this point, there's a lot of the different things we could do. Um, what do we need the diamond for? <laughs> See? What indeed? What do we need the diamond for? for uh, the plant lens. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get a diamond, huh? Spent all that time mining it out, right? Let's just go ahead and uh, make diamonds. Here we go. Our first diamonds. Pour some water while we wait. No, no fireworks? Okay, see how it is.
All right, cool. Um, so, glass lens we make with, uh, we need some flint. Do I even, even have any flint over here? I think not. So let me take this glass and uh, do we need anything else from here right now? All right, right, right. So what we need the diamonds for? I remember <laughs> steam. Um, it's not it's not visible here yet, but it's a, I bookmarked it, right? So the macerator needs two diamonds. So perfect. We got three diamonds. We need one for the plant lens. We need two for this. Uh, we don't need diamonds for the bronze hole. That's something we did before. We need lots of bronze though. Uh, steam compressor doesn't need diamonds. We just need pistons. Uh, okay, okay. I think right now, the thing that's gonna make sense to do is to work on this. To make the red alloy, which we can make in the alloy smelter. Now don't, throw, don't let this throw you off, right? So the icon at the top is one machine that is alloy smelter, but there's all sorts of levels. Right? So the one we have right now is the steam alloy smelter. It's the, the simplest one. Uh, and there's a high pressure, basic, advanced, so on all the way to whatever this nonsense is. Uh, but we need redstone and copper ingots to, uh, to make red alloy. Uh, and we have some redstone. We have some redstone over the other place too. Um, I think we have some copper. Do we have any in here? Let's, let's see if we can get by with the copper that we have at the other place. And uh, I don't think we have any spare copper in here, do we? Tin, iron, aluminum, brass, aluminum, gold. Okay, no, no copper in there. A little bit of tin, I'll take that with me. Uh, okay, so. Let's at least get one thing done this first hour. I mean, we got the diamonds, that's a thing, right? But let's, um, I want to get, oh, we do need, I need to figure out, hold on, I'm forgetting something. So we do need to connect the uh, steam boiler to the alloy smelter. And so we need a certain kind of pipe to do that. And I feel like I made some pipes. So let me see if that's hanging around here. So the downside, so the 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 plan in the short term anyway, right, is we have our farming area here and kind of our initial setup. And then we're gonna put all of our machinery that's gonna be uh, producing pollution a little bit away, right, over, over yonder instead of that tree. Um, but now we're in a situation where we're running back and forth, um, you know, between Old base and new base. So, new base over here, old base over here. Uh, and that's probably gonna, you know, continue for a while. So, what I'm looking for now are the pipes that I made a couple streams ago. Uh, they might be in the chest out on the lawn, if you will. Over here. Hmm. I thought I made some pipes. Could have been imagining it. Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Uh, not in there. Oh, yeah, so I can just look at the chest. I don't have to open it. Uh, there we go, there we go, and some windmill parts and stuff, but I don't see pipes. So, uh, let's figure out how to make some. If I haven't made the pipes, then I'm pretty sure there was a quest that I was planning on doing that involved making the pipes, and I just never got around to doing it, so let's see. Um, let's go back. Interesting. Was it in here somewhere? Oh yeah, there it is. Bronze plate and large bronze uh, fluid pipes. So I never did this and we missed out on, hmm, 
What's better, wood to iron chest upgrades or eight bronze ingots or a loot bag? I don't know. Don't know which of those would be better. Uh, so the large bronze fluid pipe, this is looking really familiar. So I, I was here at some point, I just didn't make it. We need, oh yeah, all right. So each plate needs two ingots. So we needed 12 bronze ingots. And that I think was the obstacle. I don't think that's as much of an obstacle now. We got a bunch of, we have 63 ingots of bronze in here. So let's, let's get that going. Uh, I'm gonna put the uh, other situation back. So we can do two at a time. So we need 12 ingots total. So we have a lot of bronze, fortunately. Just gotta cast it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Might as well get a couple more going while we're, uh, while we're waiting. Here we go. Hey, hey, all right, cool. Um, let's make plates. So I have the hammer. Is it hammer above or hammer below? Yeah, it's above, all right. Six bronze plates, check. All right, and then the fluid pipe. I'm gonna just bookmark that so I can click back here and click this. And uh, we have the tools because it needs, it needs a wrench and a hammer. Uh, and there we go, one pipe. All right, we did it, one pipe. Now, I feel like, okay, so that's the quest. So the wood to iron chest upgrades are pretty interesting. What, what does it take to make those? So that's um, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 16 iron, 17, 18 iron at our current technology level to make one. So 36 iron or eight bronze or a loot bag. I think I'm gonna take the wood to iron chest upgrade. So what these do is they basically let you click um, a, a normal wooden chest, and it gets upgraded to an iron one that holds some more stuff. So that's really worthwhile uh, in terms of just being able to organize things. So I'm gonna take those, but we're gonna use those soonish. Um, and that completes that quest that I completely spaced actually doing. And then in um, over in Multiplex Goals, yeah, that's the same kind of pipe there. Now, this wants us to make these things, the iron plate and iron gear to make the hopper. Uh, it is optional. Technically, what we all we need to do is make another hopper and then we can complete this quest. But I don't really need this stuff right now, so we'll we'll come back to this. What I do need though is what this this is uh, telling me about here. So if we take wait, hold on. What did the quest say? A large bronze pipe and place it under the faucet. Under the faucet. Make sure to connect the pipe to the faucet using a wrench. Now the molten mol molten fluid will float inside the pipe. Under or next to the pipe, you have to place the casting basins or table. Okay. So that tells me. Yeah, they went in there. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um. So we're we're going to make another pipe to go over and work on this team stuff. But we should do this first. Okay, so I think it said next to as well. Oops. So we'll put mini Fs. Put that there. Um, and then it said we can use the wrench. Okay, is this gonna work? Or is this still gonna require a lever? I mean, it's kind of interesting anyway, even if it requires a lever to activate the faucet, because 
Um, we can route the fluid to multiple places. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, that that's really good. Now, I'm gonna break this chest and move it. All right, we're gonna put the chest there. I'm gonna put the hopper there. And now, it's just gonna auto pour all the uh, all the bronze for us. <laughs> if we had a second hopper, we could put another hopper over here as well. Um, but I don't, so, yeah, it's fine. So that gets us to eight. So I just want another, you know, 12, so I can make another one of these uh, fluid pipes. So can I, ooh, interesting. Oh, no, no, that, that did work. So I clicked it and it turned it off, right? So if I turn this back on, it's gonna pour. If I click it again, it's going to stop pouring. Good, okay, so I can control it by just turning on and off the faucet. That's nice. All right, so suddenly it feels like we're making progress. Um, all right, hammer time. And then what is it? It's hammer and what's the other tool? A wrench. All right, so it's time to uh, do some stuff with Steam, I think. Where did the lead go? Ah, there it is, okay. Um, I want to bring some charcoal with me. There we go. And at some point we should make like a, um, a trophy gallery for our little trophies that we're getting from stuff. I did, so you may, the keen-eyed may notice that there's now two heads at this house. Um, I did die between the, the last stream and this one. I, uh, I fell off the tree while I was trying to clear out all the leaves uh, to give sky visibility to the, uh, the water collection system. So I didn't, <laughs> I regret to inform you <laughs> the, you missed it, but uh, maybe next time. I mean, I'm not gonna die again. <laughs> uh, it was quite a fall. Like, I fell from up there somewhere and then ooh, splat. All right. Ooh, almost didn't make that jump. All right, so we have our coal boiler and uh, we got a pipe, and the pipe is gonna go into the alloy smelter, hopefully. So these work by just using the wrench on the ends of the pipe. Um, and then if we put a little fuel in, maybe here, there we go. We get a little heat. Do we, do we get a little steam? Who could say? <laughs> unused in this machine, unused in this machine. How does it work? I don't know. We do need copper. We do have some copper. How much do we need for the quest? So we need 14 red alloy ingots. Each red alloy ingot is one copper and four redstone. Uh, so we need 14 copper. Where's that going? Ah, okay, just a little lag. 14, and then all the redstone. <laughs> all right, uh, apparently there was a quest to do that. Uh, we'll look that up in a second. So copper and redstone. Now I don't know if there is gonna be enough steam or how the steam comes out. Oh, it's making steam. All right, is it going over here? Yeah. Aw, insufficient steam. Time to 
time is it? Oh, it's nighttime. Let's sleep before stuff spawns. All right. Provide steam consistently for the entire something. Ooh. Seems bad. Okay, let's take this out. I, I'm afraid of losing material. You think it's issue of, here, hold on. Let's turn that off. There we go. Let's just buffer steam. Apparently that's the thing we can do. In before it explodes and destroys the base. How much steam? Uh, oh, there we go. 4,800 millibuckets. So 4.8 buckets of steam this bronze fluid pipe can hold. So we're gonna let this uh, max out. I think there's, there's one copper ingot and four redstone in this. Um, so we're gonna let this buffer. This is looking good. Oh, we get little tiny piles of ash too. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, all right, so we're maxed out. Are we buffering steam over here too? Yeah. Okay. Um, so long term, we might want to just like do this, like off stream. I might just like have this accumulate steam. Uh, we also have lots of water still, right? Uh, I've been told it's very important not to run out of water. Also important. Don't jump on top of this. It's very hot. Okay, so we let that go in. Hey, look, it did a thing. How much steam are we losing? Oh, and it's gone. We made one though. All right, so so what, what I'm hearing is that five buckets of steam is enough to make one red alloy ingot. So uh, I'm gonna put the rest of the charcoal in. There we go, and we're gonna Maybe half. And we're gonna let the steam here accumulate for a bit. So I, I suspect this can hold a lot of steam in, in this, this bar right here. So we're gonna let that accumulate um, so that we can do a big batch. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, let's take a look at the quest that we apparently completed. So the little exclamation points here are places where we have completed quests which should really encourage me to complete the ones that I haven't completed. Uh, but you know, I'll do it whenever. So at some point I made a uh, roasted potato on a stick. Okay, that's fine. Uh, by taking a big potato and putting it on a stick, as you do. Apparently that's better that way. Uh, at some point I had completed collecting the raspberry bushes and got a couple bonus ones uh, and we can get an extra quest book if I claim this, and I didn't want to claim this. So at some point I'll, I'll claim those and just put those things away. I just don't want to deal with it now because inventory management is a pain in Minecraft in general, and especially with a thousand mods. Uh, same thing with those. Uh, oh, this is the one I just completed, right? So we, I think I was short having enough redstone. Um, what do I want? I think I'm gonna take the loot bag. It's fun, right? So we'll, we'll this is not the most efficient thing, right? The, these loot bags can be enchanted with fortune and it makes them better, but I don't really have a way of doing enchanting right now. And it's fun just to get the loot bag. It, it's fun to just get the loot bag. Hmm. <clears throat> Or not. <laughs> well, that's a shame. It would be fun to get the loot bag and open it and see what random things we get. All right, if we have 128 redstone, it's telling us, hey, you can put that with the crafting station and you can upgrade the tool. I actually had already done that um, back a while ago. So that's that what, what that little redstone dot right there is. So I did things out of order. So it goes. How are, oh, we're almost full. Let's um, put things in and see how this goes. Oops. Uh, 
uh, where'd y'all see me? Oh, 